Hey guys, this is Chandler with Red Arrow Industries. Today I'm going to show you how to use slow-mo footage shot on an iPhone in Avid Media Composer. So I've shot some short clips with an iPhone and used image capture on a MacBook to pull the files from the phone to an external drive, which I now have connected to my Avid workstation. So first we will look at these clips in QuickTime. And you can see that the files are H.264 QuickTimes, 1280 by 720 and running at about 120 frames per second. Now playing these clips in QuickTime will yield real-time playback. Now in Avid Media Composer, I've set up a 720p 23.976 project. I've done this because this will match the raster dimensions of the iPhone and the low frame rate will allow for the most slowing down of the footage before frames are repeated. So we will AMA link to our iPhone clips. Typically I would transcode to the desired format and be finished. However, if I scrub through this, you can see that it is really choppy and we can't transcode it because it will convert to the project frame rate, which would effectively throw away the majority of our frames. So here's the workaround. Throw all the clips into a sequence. You'll see that each clip now has a green dot. This means the software is converting the clip's frame rate from 120 to 23.976 in real time. Now, the trick, render this sequence, making sure that you're rendering at DNX HD. Now the choppiness is lessened when scrubbing, and you can play in the back in real time. This render has basically transcoded the clips for you without any loss of frames from conversion. From here, simply use this rendered sequence as the source, editing directly from it to your timeline. Next, open the Motion Effect Editor and promote the Motion Effect to a time warp. First, change the interpolation to both fields to eliminate frame blending. You'll notice that this clip is running at 500% speed. To slow it down, add a keyframe at the beginning, make it the anchor frame, and then adjust the keyframe down to 100%. This will allow for a frame-by-frame -frame playback of the 120 frames per second footage. A quick render will show that you get smooth motion when the clip is slowed down to 20% of real time. No frames are being repeated here, allowing for very smooth slow motion video. Now in this tutorial, I'm only working with a few clips, but were I working on a project with hundreds of iPhone clips, it would be near impossible without this process of creating a sequence and pre-rendering. Finally, another common issue is that the phone may have been held upside down, such as in this shot. While QuickTime can read certain metadata and know to flip the video, Media Composer cannot. By using this pre-render sequence, we can also place a flip-flop effect to correct the shot. And they cut right into your edit nicely with the clip and you can still adjust the speed. This workaround allows the use of high frame rate iPhone footage in lower frame rate projects without sacrificing frames as well as making beautifully smooth slow motion video possible using only a basic iPhone camera. And that's it guys. If this tutorial was helpful to you, like and subscribe to our page. If you'd like to visit us on Facebook, we're at Red Arrow Industries, or go to our website at redarrowindustries.com.